Rahim. Now let's continue. Uh, test question October 2019. Question 1 requirement number 4. Requirement number 4. Okay. Um, is on the accounting treatment of the annual service cost and the replacement cost related to the machinery for the year ended 30th September 2019. So if we look at uh, the question, okay, that will be in requirement number 5. So requirement number 5, uh, there is an annual service cost 5.8. Uh, 5,800 and the new component, the new component cost. So the question asks for the accounting treatment. So because this uh, service cost is annual, of course, this one cannot be capitalized. This one needs to be expense off because it is annually. It does not increase the value of the asset. And about this new component, can it be capitalized or should we expense off? Because the question says that after the replacement took place, the remaining useful hour of the machine is revised to 5 years. So we need to check. Okay, we need to check whether there is an increase uh, in the useful, the remaining useful life of the machine. So now... Uh, the machine was bought on 1st April 13. Okay. So it was bought it was bought on 1st April 13. Okay. And then uh, the new component was replaced on 30th September 19. Okay, on this day, the, the useful life, the estimated useful life is 8 years. So, on 30th September 19, it says here that the remaining useful life is 5 years. Okay, after the replacement. Takkan tak ada dah buat kot. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, after replacement. Okay, now we check. How many years for this period? This machinery is um, yearly basis. Okay. So, we start to count from 30th September uh, 13 lah. Okay. Sebab ni baru bulan 4 kan. So, bulan September tutup account. So, we start to calculate from 13. So, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19. So, how many years? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 7 tahun eh. 7 years. Okay, 7 years. So, 7 years. That means you have used the machine up to 30th September. You have used the machine for 7 years. So, by right, the remaining useful life should be 1 year. 8 minus 7 should be 1. But now, after you replace the useful life, the estimated use, um, sorry, the remaining useful life actually Increase. Therefore, we would say that by changing to new component that is increase in the value of the asset because it extends the useful life of the machine. Therefore, uh, we can capitalize this new component. So, let's put the answer here. Okay. Um, so, we would say that the, the annual... The annual service cost, the annual service cost of RM5800 is to be expense of into SOPL because it is it, it, it is uh, annual cost and does not increase the 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 value of the machinery 
okay right and then okay and then um, the new component the new component of rm apa 108000 is to be capitalized into the cost of the machinery because it increase the value increase its value lah increase its value as the apa remaining useful life increase from one year to five years okay so that actually answer that requirement number four okay now let's move on to the next question uh, to the next requirement that is uh, prepare the notes to the account to show the movement of the land factory b and office building on the only three assets so i have put up the the movement here it's just like when you prepare your published account and and you have to show the notes on ppe so this is the one that you are required here so the question only asks for land factory b and office building so you should have cost up here and accumulated depreciation balance bd so once you have this format then you can put it in so the question asks for the movement for the year ended 30th uh, the, uh, the 30th september 19 this is where we close our year so the opening would be 1st october 18 so that means the balance bd here okay is 1st october 18 this is also 1st october 18 and 30th september 19 is the balance cd so let's look at land first what is the balance bd for land on 1st october 18 so if we look at our um, workings on land okay now just focus on 1st october 18 up to 30th september 19 so on this date at the opening on the opening date previously you have this value this is the value of the asset you revalue the asset, uh, the land on two thousand in two thousand fourteen. The fair value is seven point one million. So this is the amount that you carry to the following years. So this seven point one million will appear, will appear here. Okay, seven, seven point one million. Okay. Then, of course, it's not depreciated. There's no accumulated depreciation for the land. So, during the year, there is no depreciation for the land. And at the end, when you close the account, uh, you revalue the land. So, you get a surplus of 1.1 million. So, actually, you have this already. Okay, this is the general entry that you have passed before based on requirement number one. So, you can take up uh, debit PPE lah because the one that uh, affect the notes the notes on the PPE is only this one PPE only the cost and the accumulated position this one does not affect your notes so we just take debit PPE 1.1 million here okay so 1100 you can put it here you can put it as uh, surplus you can put it as ARR. You can even put it as a revaluation. So I'm going to put surplus on revaluation. 
if you put a, uh, the description as ARR is also acceptable. Not worry too much about the word. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's all for land. Now, we move on to factory B. Okay, mana factory B? Okay, this is factory B. Kan, this one. This is factory B. Now, we focus on uh, 1st October 18. Okay, 1st October. Oh, please. 1st October 18 until 30 September 19. Now we are preparing notes for this one. So during this year, you can see there is a transaction. This one. Alright, you revalue in this year. Okay, do not make mistake on this one. Yeah. Uh, if you look at land just now, uh, you take the fair value as the balance BD for the land because the revaluation take place before the current year. The revaluation take place before the current year. Therefore, we just carry forward this value to the current year. That's why your land, the balance BD is 7.1 million, which is the fair value here, the previous, the before, before you start the year. But for factory B, it is different. The revaluation take place in the current year. Therefore, you cannot show that your balance BD is fair value 20.5. The balance BD should be the cost here. <laughs> the balance BD should be the cost here. Okay, this is the one that you carry forward and you will show the, the movement, the, the transaction of the revaluation. This is the one that you have already part. You, you don't have to do it again. So the one that will affect your notes is only this one, uh, debit PPE, only the cost and the accumulated possession. Okay, this one, accumulated possession, uh, the depreciation, you credit accumulated possession. Okay, and that's it. This one, ARR, returning does not affect your, your notes. So this four item will affect your notes. But importantly, uh, the balance BD for factory building is not fair value 20.5 million. It must be the cost that you carry forward before. Okay. The, uh, since the revaluation take place in the current year, you have to show the effect of this revaluation. That's why you don't show the fair value 20.5 as the balance BD. Later, I will show you that uh, in the current year, you will see that new fair value. Okay, so now for the factory B, the balance BD would be the 18 million here lah. The 18 million and the balance BD for accumulated depreciation is 3240. So we put it here. The balance BD for factory B, 18 million. And the accumulated depreciation is 3240. Okay. Subhanallah. Okay. Minus eh? Eh, tak naklah minus. Ah, bukan 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 salah, salah salah. Sebab kita akan cari because we're going to find the the balance CD for the accumulated position. Masa tu nanti baru kita minus. Okay. So that's the balance BD. Now we need to show the movement of the factory. So this one, all this entry that I take uh, rate in rate. So debit BPE, that means you add lah. Debit your, you you add your asset. This one debit accumulated, you minus your accumulated. Credit PPE, you minus PPE. You credit accumulated depreciation means you add the accumulated depreciation. Okay, so I'm going to put in the... In the notes, okay, firstly is to recognize the surplus. So the surplus is 5740. Okay, and then next one is to eliminate the accumulated depreciation. So, of course, ni pada merah. Kita tukar dia balik kepada hitam. Sorry. Oh, tidak. Hmm. 
Okay, so this is the accumulated position. So we will uh, minus 3, 2, 4, 0. So, ding, ding, ding. Okay, minus 3, 2, 4, 0 because the journey entry will be uh, debit accumulated depreciation credit PPE. So when you credit PPE, you minus your PPE. And the same, the same figure, okay, I'm going to copy that. Uh, down here, comma. Ah, uh, there. The same thing, yeah. Okay. Next one is the current year depreciation. We have calculated, uh, here five hundred thousand. Okay. So, the journey entry debit SOPL credit accumulated. So when you credit, uh, you increase. Increase your uh, accumulated depreciation. So this is. Current year depreciation. Tak tulis perkataan current year pun tak apa. Saya suka je nak tulis. Okay. So, that's, I think that's all. Entry for factory B. Next one, we move on to office building. Office office building ni, kita tak pernah lagi baca entry dia. Uh, information, right? Okay. Now, what happened to the office building? So, the office building, uh, it was purchased on 1st October 2009. So, let me draw. Let me draw first the timeline. It is very important to draw the timeline. Okay. Office building. Okay, you bought it on 1st October year 9 at the initial cost of 300,000. Okay, so how do you depreciate uh, 50 years monthly basis? Okay, so the useful life 50 years and using a monthly basis. So information for um, the office building is number 4 in december 18 during a meeting conducted by the company director they decided to relocate the administration of the company therefore on 30th september the company sold the office building at 440000 so this happened on 30th september so draw here 30th september 19 you dispose so you get a sales proceed Tak ada kena-mengena pun, uh, tapi saya tunjuk saja uh, 440,000 ni. Because the question did not ask about the disposal, tapi saya tunjuk je lah. Okay, this is actually the money received from the disposal. Okay. Hmm. Now, there's no revaluation of his own office building, it's just that on the disposal. So, what we need to do is, okay, now we have to prepare notes uh, from 1st October lah. 1st October 18. So, this is current year that we need to report in this table. So, of course, the balance BD for the office building is the cost here 300,000. Okay, so I put up here 300,000 the cost. What about the accumulated depreciation? So we have to calculate the accumulated depreciation from the day you purchase up to this point. Uh, jangan terlanggar. Because kat sini dia balance BD eh. At the beginning of the year. So here we calculate the accumulated depreciation. So that will be cost 300,000 divided by the useful life 50 years. And for how many years? So, you start count from 30th September 10. So, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That will be 9 years. Okay, 9 years. So, we times with 9. So, you should get 54,000. That is the accumulated depreciation. So, we put it here, balance BD, 54,000. Okay, 
Now, what else to do with the office building? So, we need to calculate the current year depreciation. Okay, current year depreciation. So, what is the current year depreciation? Sama saja cara kira 300,000 divided by 50 years. Dia tak ada revaluation. Makanya, when you calculate depreciation, would be based on the same estimated useful life. So, 300 divided by 50 years, you get 6,000. So, this is current year depreciation. So, you put it in here. Current year depreciation, 6,000. Okay, boleh? Next, you dispose your asset, your office building. So, remember, there are four effects when you dispose. Ada empat. First, your cost, you need to eliminate the cost. So, what is what is the cost of office building is 300,000. So, you eliminate that. Second, you have to eliminate the uh, you have to eliminate the accumulated depreciation. So, what is the accumulated depreciation? Since the beginning, since you acquire the office building up to the date you dispose. That means it will be 54,000 plus 6,000. That will be 60,000. The third effect is you get money lah. Because you dispose, your bank increase. That will be 440. And the last one will be profit or loss on disposal. So we see here the carrying value is 300 minus 60 is 240. 240 is smaller than 440. That means you get higher, kan? You get more cash. So it will be profit lah. Profit on disposal but this does not concern with this question but i just show you okay you get the profit on disposal so the one that is um, the one that you need to take is only this one lah for disposal for the notes okay so you have to reduce your cost and also accumulated possession okay so kita masukkan reduce cost means you minus so you minus your 300,000 here So, you write down as disposal and then you minus your accumulated depreciation uh, 60,000 minus as well. Okay. Alright. So, uh, we total up this is balance CD for the asset. Okay. Let's, let's try. Ten, ten, ten. See if we get the answer. Uh, this is 8.2 million. Okay. We add everything. That is 20.5. And this one 0. Okay. Now you see here. Uh, for factory B. You get 20.5 as a balance CD. Now if you look back. Um, this is land. Okay. If you look at factory B. Now, you revalue your asset. So, in this year, you get 20.5 million as the fair value, kan? So, that's why when we show the movement, you get that same fair value figure. And based on this figure, we depreciate for the current year. And for office building, because you dispose, you get zero lah at the end. Alright, now this is balance CT for the accumulated depreciation so there is no no entry for land because it is not depreciated and then you get 500,000 for factory B and there is no uh, accumulated depreciation at the end of the year for for office building because you have disposed and then you need to show the carrying value of the asset. That will be cost minus the accumulated depreciation. Balance CD minus balance CD. So you get this one. 20,000 and 0. Okay. So that's it for this question. 
Now, I hope that you still remember if let's say the question asks for journal entry on the disposal. The additional, I will explain it to you. Okay, the question did not ask you. I just explain so that you know. So, when you reduce cost, of course, you will credit your uh, asset. Lah. I put it here as PPE. When you, okay, letak kat sini eh, 300,000. This one, if the question asks for journal entry. Reduce accumulated appreciation, you have to debit accumulated depreciation, 60,000. Your bank increase, you get money. Uh, tak kat atas lah. Okay, debit bank, 440,000. So then you balance off the figure. You get uh, SOPL kat sini kan? SOPL, is it? Gain on disposal. Hmm. Okay, berapa ni? 5, this is 500 minus 300, so you get gain 200 lah. Okay, in fact from here you can find uh, the CV is 240. Kan, compare this one bank, so you get higher. You can sell higher than the carrying value. So, you get profit or gain on disposal. So, it is 300,000. That's it for this video. Thank you.